Part of Michigan's 1997 Alumni Football Weekend included a skills clinic Saturday morning at Glick Fieldhouse. The campers, Kids Go Blue Club contest winners. It's a reunion for the 97 team. We get a chance to see everybody, but it's also uh, an opportunity to bring some of the kids out and, and teach them a little bit about the game of football and how much fun football can be. You know, it doesn't always have to be all serious. It's, it's, it's time to come out here and just have some fun. The national champs giving a new generation of fans who weren't even born when they played different kinds of memories, like Brian Greasy teaching them the finer points of playing quarterback. Somebody make it. Yeah. Or former defensive lineman Glenn Steele lining up as a live tackling dummy. One thing they learned for sure, anytime the pigskin's flying, there's an air of uncertainty. Sorry. You okay, hon? I'm not a quarterback, as you can tell. The um, Yeah, so Colby Kiefer's daughter came through and uh, right through the hands, right through the bread bath. So good lesson, you know, catch the ball first and then run with it. She's better for going through she's, this though, right? She's, she'll be tougher. She'll be better for it. Events like this, connecting with community, appreciation. The guys say it was something that was stressed 20 years ago by Coach Carr. He's a master motivator, right? And that's kind of what he's known for. I mean, uh, he's just a, a great teacher. And uh, one of the things that he's instilled in, in, in all of us is uh, contribution, charitable, being charitable, and, uh, and giving back. The clinic included a Q&A session in the team room where life lessons were highlighted. We wanted to, to teach the kids, you know, and, and show them the lessons that we learned from football, um, how important education is, how important hard work is, leadership, um, competition, the value of competition, and all of those things and how they, what we did in 97, how it kind of, uh, the lessons that we learned, and it springboarded us to other things in our life. The morning was a smashing success. Sort of like that 97 team and its just win attitude. As we were hanging out kind of late last night, and I just looked around and um, looked at all the guys, and it was just like we were in the locker room, just with gray hair now. Some guys with a little more weight on them, uh, with like gray hair and everything. It's a reminder of how special everything was, not just the wins, not just the championship, not just the rings, but the locker room. To come back and see guys I haven't seen in 10 years, it's been amazing, and uh, to do something that no team has done in 70 years and still to feel the appreciation and love um, from all my teammates and the fans, it's been awesome, man. It's, it's just something that you really can't put into words. At Glick Fieldhouse, I'm Ed Kongerski for mgoblue.com. Yeah.